There you go. That's not going to make Manchester United fans very happy, is it? <laughs> Listen, I want to ask you a bit about his demeanour in that, because when I saw that interview, I thought, he looks great. You said he's ageing like a fine wine. He looks healthy. Did he seem happy to you? Yeah, he seems happy. I think, obviously, I think he probably just wants to win trophies right now. You know, his CV is one of the best of the best at 30 years old, buying guarantees him to win trophies. Uh, but he's just such a humble, he's one of the most humble superstars I've ever met. Uh, and they've almost signed the perfect player. They needed goals, and you got a guarantee in goals in Harry Kane. Paul, should Manchester United have broke the bank for him? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. I think Manchester United crowned out for the centre forward. Now look, whatever it would have cost, he should have got him. He's a, you're buying 25 to 30 goals a season. The players they have now, they're all more suited to playing on the left-hand side. You think of Anthony Martial, not a great centre forward, not that much better on the left-hand side of late, but Marcus Rashford, doesn't want to play centre forward, he can't really do it, he's a different player, wants to play on the left hand side. Now, I know they brought the, the young lad Hoyland in, he was one for the future I think, we know, we he hasn't got a great goal scorer record as yet, but we don't know in the future, he, he, he may do that, but Harry Kane coming to this team, you're thinking 25, 30 goals, and if you talk about budget wise, from the owners and, and stuff, and whoever's a, 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 above Ten Hag, if you had the money just to buy one player, and or three, I'd about, I'd about Harry Kane all day long. I, I, he I brings so much to this team. 100% agree. I'd, I'd, you have to go out for a talent like that. Someone who guarantees you goals. We, we played last season with the striker who got zero goals. You had 30 goals and his influence and his impact in games and his presence, his character. To, to, to the change room, dress room, for the environment, for the culture as well. He's a fantastic, he's a leader. Yeah. Everything you want in terms of trying to change the, 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 the way things are going at your club, he brings to you. Yeah. But, for whatever reason it, it was, Man United didn't do that and Bayern have capitalised. He, he, he feels like a Man United centre forward as well. He feels like, a I, I reckon I would go out as far as to say that I think he would have preferred to go Man United. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah I do. Four goals in four games so far in the Bundesliga, which is a good start. And, and you, Rio, mentioning what he brings, the leadership, all those different things. Is that what Bayern were looking for, not just the goals? Was there more to his game that Bayern needed? Yeah, I think they wanted his his leadership, you know, captain of his country, you, you know, which is, I think they want another personality in the dressing room. They got a, a really good, talented team, but they needed somebody in those crucial moments. Harry Kane gives you that. I asked him, you know, are, you, are we going to see you play a little bit deeper like you did at Tottenham as a number 10? Because with all the, the players that they have and the wingers and the number 10, they actually don't really need him there. You know, he can just focus on being in the box and finishing goals. I think Harry Kane could break records Three, with this player. 300 goals, 300 club career goals on Friday. Enough said.